missed it. Ooh, let's head back up to uh, this guy up here. You have 15 points. I don't even see the... Oh, okay, I see him. Oh, yo, yo, everybody, what's going on? Is Lodis here back with another Nordic Ashes run. Hopefully, y'all am enjoying the content. If so, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts, and I do greatly appreciate it, as does show 99% of you guys are not subscribed. And we are on our way to a thousand subscribers, so make sure you guys smash that subscribe button down below there. Um, you guys can also tap the bell notification to notify when a new video goes live, as I do upload every single day. And if you guys don't want to miss a video, make sure you guys smash it. Uh, we'll get we're gonna be getting back into the variety content here soon. I'm just really enjoying um, Nordic Ashes, so. But let's um. Hmm. We could try and go for like one of these guys to try and conquer the full Elfheim. Because we got Thyra. We could do Half Grim. We could do Helga. We could even do Hansi since we haven't done a Hansi run yet. But I'm super tempted to just run another another Amaranth run. Even though I said, eh, maybe not. I did end up throwing the uh, Mastery Point into the dash that releases flowers, so... I was tempted to do another Amaranth run, but I know how, like, kind of, like, slow... Not slow, but it was kind of, like... It was kind of a boring run, to be honest, in the last, uh, in the last run. If you guys haven't seen that episode, make sure you guys go check it out. And, uh... Whatnot. Using Dash has 50% chance of resetting. Okay. I'll do that one. So we're gonna do a dagger run this time. On Alpheim, and see what we got going on here. Let's uh, just jump right into it. I, I'm, I've been tempted to just run like the expert modes to go on to the other islands, but like I don't want to have like a, a constant amount of losses. So um, that's why I'm doing like the normal runs, slowly amping up to um, the main uh, the main runs and whatnot. Um, but if you guys want to see just the expert runs, and I can I can do that. Uh, let me know down in the comments and. Uh, I can just not upload the normal runs and whatnot, but for now I'm doing I'm doing I'm uploading every single run that I do. Um, normal runs, um, hard runs, expert runs, win or loss, like they're getting they're getting uploaded, babe. So like, let me know if uh, you guys are liking that. But I can I can not do that, of course, if uh, you guys just want to see expert runs and whatnot. All right, we're not looking too bad. I mean, we're gonna get this, um, because why not? Like, we can make do with it. I'm sure. We have 21 points, so let's let's dump some points into this. Damage and cooldown, yeah. Damage and critical, yeah. I want projectiles. Ah, uh, damage, I'll take. Um, projectiles. Get up critical. Damage and cooldown. Projectiles and cooldown. Damage and projectiles I'll definitely take. I'll definitely take cooldown as well. And this should be an insane amount of uh, increase of wave clearage here. Okay. So what did that decrease? Damage. Yikes. That's a huge bummer. That's a huge bummer right there. But, I mean, our damage is still pretty... seems like it's still pretty high, so it's not like the end of the world. Critical, projectiles, damage. Let's take projectiles. Even though I probably should have took damage there, but hey. It is what it is. I'm not really too worried, because I know last time you ran Hansi, like, he just absolutely destroyed. So... Like, I'm not, I'm not super worried about him on uh, this normal mode run. One full red heart container I'll take. Um, what else? Let's head down here to our free item. Actually, you know what? We're right here. Let's, let's grab this guy. 
Spins around you. Okay, that works for me. That works for me. Yeah. God damn it. I wasn't paying attention. I was freaking trying to... There was a freaking ant on my desk and I had to freaking kill it, man. So let's try that again. This time we will pay attention. Okay, I'll grab this. What do we got here? Ooh, this one's actually pretty good. I'll take that. Cause it's like it's it's so big that it's like I'm I'm gonna take that. Then we got this guy, one full red heart container, I'll take. Damage. Okay. I mean, I, I, I'm not really too worried about this once again. XP attraction, I'll definitely take because uh, I love me uh, some XP attraction. Uh, 13 points. Let's juice this bad boy up again. I want projectiles and damage. That's fine. I don't think it's as good as the last run, but it's still not bad. It's still not a bad, like, start. It's still pretty good, I'd say. Okay. Damn, I didn't even see him. He blended right into the freaking bush. Okay. This one's a pretty good run so far. Definitely need more projectiles. Like, we need projectiles on every single one remaining. Okay, that is huge. Okay. We definitely need more projectiles. I don't even care about the damage right now. Like, it needs to be projectiles. Okay, projectile and damage for the last two, hopefully. Because our damage is definitely a little weak. But we have the damage um, monolith, which shouldn't be too bad. I'm not too worried about that. Let me have this altar down over here. Fire? Okay. Okay. I really like this one. Cooldown. I'll take some cooldown. I mean, our crit isn't great. It's not great, but it's not bad either. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. We'll pick up all this XP now and see if we can get something out of it. Um, run up here, grab this, because we have no gold going into the um, shopping round, even though, like... We have a little bit till we go into the shop, but I mean, realistically, with this one, we could probably just like go into the shop and like just leave the shop without buying anything. Like, we could start working towards unlocking that character. You have to leave the shop without buying anything a certain amount of times. I think it's like three times or something, which honestly, I don't think it will be too hard. Especially with Hansi, like, come on, dude, we don't even need anything. We don't even need to buy anything. I mean, then again, this is the only normal mode, so, like... I mean, we could. But we don't really, don't really have to. Okay. Don't really have to. Okay. 
I mean, we're, we're looking good. Oh, we got a shadow here. We haven't really picked up any shadows to increase our crit. There was only the one. Because our crit is super low. So I don't really want to take the either of the two that is like, oh, once you're over 100% crit, like, you do more damage or whatever, or you get 50% more damage if you crit, and then, like, if you don't crit, it's 50% less damage. Like, I don't, I don't really want to take those if we're not getting a good amount of crit, you know? You know, you know, you know. So. Lots of XP right here. Destroyed that one pretty quick. Okay. Okay, we got this boss. Where are we going to it? Projectiles and damage. 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 Because our damage is definitely a little weak. I want to take the cooldown on projectiles, but we need we need this one. Of course, it waits all the way till the end to give it to us. Bro, I'm walking right to you, man. Because you're about to get smoked up in here. Not as quick as the Amaranth kills, but I mean, still pretty dang quick. Still pretty dang quick. Ooh, this is a new one. Restores all red hearts. You know what? Okay, we got that. Do this one. This one, okay. I think I'm gonna do the shadow daggers. This run. Okay. We outie. We ain't, we ain't buying nothing. Ooh, creates multiple daggers that rotate on themselves, damaging enemies that step on them. Oh, that seems interesting. Maybe we'll try that. Definitely need to get some more um, levels, though. Ooh, and this one as well. This one's pretty good. It, um, 50% damage. It'll break if you get hit. Which I, I don't think we're going to get hit unless we walk into something. So I'm not too, too worried about that. So I think we're sitting in a pretty good spot. Like, look at this. We don't even have enemies coming onto our screen right now. So, like, I'm really not worried about it. Cool, we got it. Let's do one big looped around. Pick up all the XP that uh, didn't get picked up when we slayed everything. Okay. I think we just about have it all. all right, let's head somewhere. I mean, that, that one piece is five or five uh, XP points, I believe. So I'm gonna hold off on um, picking that up. Boomerang, sure. I mean, boomerang is not the end of the world. I'll take it. Just another item that gets thrown, so why not? I really do like the um, the shadow daggers that shoots um, daggers out of the enemy's shadows. I really like that. Like that's one of the um, upgrades I, I I thoroughly enjoy. 
just because it adds more stuff onto the screen and just the wave clear is so good. That's why I think Ace could be good on Helga if we were to run um, the Exploding Feathers because the wave clear, once we got that, the wave clear was actually pretty good. So I think that's like an item that you should take first, like that Ascension. So like we'll definitely try out Helga um, with Ace. Definitely probably not on the Expert Mode Elfheim. But maybe in the normal mode of the uh, next uh, next island that we go to. So, definitely try that out. Ooh, there's this over here. Right on. Make our way back this way. Dude, there's so much XP. We need a ring. Like, we could have bought a ring, but I don't want to waste... Uh, we don't need to buy anything with... Uh, Hansy man. The Hansy's wave clear is just so good. No need to buy anything. Okay, 18 to go. Give us like I mean like damage on Shadow Dirks. That seems pretty decent. Was easy. Um, yeah, we'll take damage. There was no crit ones, which is a little bit of a bummer, but yeah, that's all right. Still no. Oh, oh, there was one. I was like, still no shadow orbs, and then I looked at my, our mini map, and there was one on the ground, and I was like, ah, oh, crap, we missed it. Oh, let's head back up to uh, this guy up here. You have 15 points. Oh yeah, dude. I don't even see the... Oh, okay, I see him. Got so much stuff going on our screen. Okay. Yeah, like, we're in a pretty good spot. Um, Let's grab this guy. Let's juice up our cooldown. Juice up our projectile speed. Um, Increase the damage you deal to bosses by 15%. Okay. Maybe we will do that one, because, like, we're, we're still smoking the elites and stuff. Or not the elites, just the normal monsters. Like we're smoking pretty pretty quickly. So like we don't really need Like we might as well just go for the, the boss kill quicker, right? At least that's what I'm thinking. So Okay. I mean we're not buying the Ascension Crystal, so I'm hoping that doesn't count. Is for us taking the Ascension Crystal. Unless it's like, literally don't take anything, then it's like, okay, then we won't be able to take the, uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Ascension Crystal. But we'll see. We can check the uh, character screen after this to see if uh, it counted. Um, if not, then we'll just have to do a run without taking the Ascension Crystals. I mean, that'll sort of suck, but hey, I think we could still get a win with Hansi without taking Ascension Crystals. I think. So we can try. We do have the Glass Dagger still, which makes us pretty strong. So I'm not really too worried about all this. Ooh, this is a new item, I think. Absorbs all damage received from a hit and heals the red heart when it breaks. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that. I mean, we haven't taken it before, so might as well take it. Okay. So much XP though, man. I can't collect it all! 
Oh, it's Astrid's shield. Huh. Interesting. I mean, we still have a ton of items that we have yet to see. So, I mean, I'm not surprised. But we still have a ton of items. Did that break my... It didn't. Very cool. Cool. Okay. Okay, this is maxed out. Might as well take it. 69 gold. Nice. I mean, for a normal run, having 94 seedlings is actually a crazy amount. Like, that is a good amount for a normal run. Like, that's actually crazy. I think Hansi's gonna be our, like, seedling, like, generator. Because we're going to get out of this with over 100 in a normal run. Usually I'm only getting like 40 to 60, I feel like, in a normal run. So to get out of this with over 100 is actually pretty wild. Pretty wild. Um. Yeah, I'm. I, it's just going to be crazy. Hundred and eight in a normal run. That is flipping insane. Okay. Let's buy some stuff. Okay. Damage we could totally max out. Same with the projectile. And then we'll throw some into this. Okay. Oh, I don't know why I did that right there. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Sure. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. That was so freaking quick. Holy smokes, dude. That was so quick. Reach mastery level three with five survivors. Dude, that was insanely quick. What the heck, man? Okay, I'll take the win. Now, let's see. Did that count? Oh, it doesn't say if it counted. What would happen if you left Noki's realm empty-handed? See, though, I don't know if that is counting... We'll try leaving it without buying anything like two more times, but still taking the Ascension Crystal, maybe two or three more times. If it if we don't get it by then, then maybe I'll just pop in, pop out without taking the Ascension Crystal. But that was the run with Hansi on uh, Alpine that was like no struggle at all. Hopefully y'all ended up enjoying that. Um, if so, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe um, if you guys are new to the channel. I greatly appreciate it as we are on our way to 1,000 subscribers. But once again, this has been Nordic Ashes, and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.